Where are you from? Uh, UK. Ah, okay. Yeah, nice to meet you. Making man. some movie, yeah? Yeah, YouTube. Hello. 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 How are you? Hello. 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 What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode here in a country where the sun sets in the summertime at 10.30 p.m. And I'll let you guys decide where that is in the next five seconds. But for now, we are in the wifey's home country and we're going to show you around some beautiful spots that you must visit when you come to this beautiful country. So let's go. Alright guys, and now we are in Dace's hometown, which she actually calls a village. Is it a village or...? <laughs> no, it's actually the fourth biggest city in Latvia called Jalgova. But, yeah. you know, after living in London and Dubai, this does feel like a little village. Yeah. A nice one. <laughs> so guys, this is the first time that I'm going to be going to her parents' house in their home country. And we are just about to see her dad, which is just waiting for us right in front of me right now. And we're going to go, well, I'm going to go and uh, see what it's like in the, their lovely home. And guys, this is Misha, which is Dace's dad. <laughs> and, hello. Uh, he's, hello. Hello. He's, uh, he speaks uh, Russian and Latvian. Let's go. Mom, we are with Misha. Hello, hello. 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 How are you? Mommy, it's smoky. Smoky, smoky. Strip day, Okay, guys, they're getting all the food ready, and the table is packed with all different types of food. We've got chicken, we've got beef, we've got some amazing style salads here. This is like a beetroot salad, and Dace's mum has been cooking all day over there. And uh, we're about to get some food down. Alright guys, after about one hour journey from Dace's parents' house, we've come to this beautiful, beautiful location. As you can see behind me, it's like, um, I feel like I'm in one of those movies where you're by the lake and you've got all those kind of cool cabins. So we've got about one, two, three, four, five cabins around here where you can basically have a barbecue, relax right next to this lake, which is down there, which I'll show you in just a moment. Obviously there's two sides to this country. There's the city hustle and bustle. And then if you want to kind of get away and relax and enjoy the wildlife, if you like, um, you can get away to these beautiful green locations which are just about an hour and a half to two hours out of the city. There's Misha there, just coming out chilling. All right guys, I'm just gonna show you inside of our cabin that we've got here, super, super cool. It's this place here, this is ours. We have got like our own kind of hammock just out there. We've got a chair, little chilled, chilled out deck, and we've also got our own barbecue set, which is just there. So we've got our double bed, which is literally just here. We've got like a lamp, we've got a fan, and we've got a little kitchen even in this spot right here. So we've got a fridge and all the munchies there ready for the barbecue. And next door, what you've got, I'll just show you guys, is another bedroom. So this is where the parents are gonna be. Just show you guys, this is the parents' bedroom right here. So this is two single beds, and again, a nice lamp. The door's making a freaky noise. <laughs> That's what happens when you're in the forest. Freaky things happen. Hopefully nothing more freaky than that. But yeah, this is it. Really, really chilled out spot. And they've even got a jacuzzi and a lake, which I'm going to show you guys in just a moment as well. And 
this is the jacuzzi which is outside in the middle of the forest check this out so so cool and right next to it just to dry off once you finish you've got this hammock just right here to relax on so dope and then just to top it all off you have this it's basically a sauna but a sauna underneath ground just there so so cool We are now at the lake. So you've got the water boat just down there and you can take that out. I think that costs around five euros per person. And you get this whole lake to yourself and you get to go around some beautiful mangroves. And guys, if you're also a swimmer, there's some people over there swimming in this fresh, fresh lake. I wanna get some of that fresh, fresh water. I mean, look at this behind me, guys. It's so, so serene. It's lovely. And guys, if you are still watching up until this point, don't forget to make a comment below saying that I made it into the forest. And also, whilst you are here, guys, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe because it really, really does help. We make more and more videos for you guys. But let's move on to the next part. Good morning, guys. After getting some rest in this beautiful, beautiful forest. Not gonna lie, that was an amazing sleep. Never had a sleep in such an environment and to wake up with all these trees around. This felt so, so good. We're now just heading down to the lake and we're gonna ride a pedal boat and just have a chilled morning just before we have to check out of the hotel. We are now pedaling across the lake here in Latvia. It's a river. River? Yeah. Oh, my bad guys. So all those times I was saying lake, it's basically a river. <laughs> it's very, One of very... the biggest rivers in Latvia called Daugava. So guys, if you're coming out here, come over to Daugava, do some pedal boating and enjoy a beautiful morning here with the sun glittering across the river. And getting some exercise in as well, all at the same time. living in Riga? To be honest, not really. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you travel but the world. But I do always love to come back. I mean, home is home. Latvia is a beautiful country. It's tiny. There is only two million of us. My favorite place is Old Town. You know, the pebbled roads, the historic architecture, coffee shops, the river. It's just beautiful. Honestly, guys, I am seriously blown away by the beauty of the buildings in this country. Nearly every corner that you go to, You've got these kind of almost very, very Victorian style buildings like these. This is kind of a church because it's got the Christian sign just above the cross. But yeah, it's just so, so stunning. So just walking through the town now and I'm getting kind of like Amsterdam vibes to it. You know, it's got the pebble floors, it's got the tram running through the city. We've got live shows going on here with a young lad playing some violin talent everywhere so where are we going now to a restaurant to grab some coffee yeah we're going to check out dome square or dome cathedral check out the wonderful latvian architecture and grab a cup of coffee a cup of european coffee because as you guys know italians do it best they're based in europe however i've heard people here in riga love a good coffee so guys if you're wondering what riga is and where it actually is it's the capital of Latvia. Latvia is a very tiny country, deemed to be one of the three Baltic states, right between Estonia and Lithuania. And obviously we are part of Eastern Europe. And what's the main language here? Latvian. But what other languages are spoken here? Well, predominantly Latvian. Uh, because of our Soviet Union history, there's a lot of Russian speakers, uh, but the new generations are, you know, really, really um, making an effort to speak English and welcome all the tourists from across Europe and the world. Yeah, and all the British guys that come here on your stags. It's good for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently here in Riga, guys, well, shall I say in Latvia, that a lot of places you go, they sell the amber stones, which basically like bracelets and beads, and they've got it all around this place, just like here. Guys, if you're wondering what Latvia is famous for, they're famous for beer, cumin and... Cumin cheese. Cumin cheese. So guys, if you like your cheese, then you definitely have to come Riga and try it out. All right guys, it looks like we found our spot just to have some coffee, a little break. 
it looks quite nice. guys so we have just ordered two cappuccinos nice it's gorgeous the Fresh. best so just to give you guys a little bit of an idea firstly of how it tastes divine love a cappuccino here in Europe secondly I'll give you guys kind of a breakdown of typically how much it costs for a coffee or cappuccino here in Riga this bearing in mind we're bang in the middle of the city so it's the most touristic area so these mm -hmm. one cappuccino was four euros which is approximately about 550 in US dollars and in pounds three pounds or just a little bit below it so not too cheap and also not too expensive so it's about in the middle but Dace was saying that back in the day it wasn't this expensive here in Riga but as you can imagine you know after each year that goes by everything just gets more and more expensive all right guys that is the coffee stop officially done we're now just gonna take a little bit of a walk and go to some more famous spots here in Riga. It's basically gonna be like an hour going around all the historic places. Yeah. Alright, what's the best deal? The sorti. Is it is a sorti? 13 each, yeah? No, no, sorti together. together. Oh, sorti together, together. okay. Sorti. Can we pay by card? We take cash. Uh, cash. But uh, you do it over two, we usually stop. And there is cash machine. Not to the after this, you can, you can raise your money. And do you stop in a lot of places? Yeah, we stop, stop in a couple of places which are more interesting, more important. Look. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll give it a go. Yeah, we'll take out cash on the way, yeah? Okay. All right, let's go. This is what I love about traveling, guys. You can just walk around and then all of a sudden you see something cool like this. Let's go. Yeah, perfect. Ready? What was your name, bro? Ramos. Raymond. Raymond. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice Where to are meet you from? Yeah. Uh, UK. Ah, okay. Yeah, 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 nice to meet Making you. Making some movie, yeah? Yeah, YouTube. About Riga, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. yeah. Go. Alright guys, hop on the bus we go. Let's see what we got. Probably want to grab a spot outside and then if it gets hot we'll sit inside. Ah, here we go. No better way to explore the city than actually getting on a tour bus. Usually I don't get tour guides in a lot of countries that I go to but something like this is quite funky and cool. Great way to see most of the city. It was a very inviting uh bus driver. Yeah, man like Raymond. <laughs> there he is over there. He's getting all the people coming on now. Tourist guys got their headphones in trying to learn all the history about uh, Riga. That is the bus journey finished. Thanks very much. Thank you. Ciao. 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 That's it. That was quite fun guys, great way to get around the city and just kind of see a little bit of everything and get a good understanding of uh, what certain places are around the city that you can't really get to by feet. Alright guys, and this here to my left is the famous House of the Blackheads. Today the House of the Blackheads is a museum. In the upper level there are grand ballrooms where historically many luxurious events happened welcoming ceremonies for kings, queens and presidents. This is the National Library of Latvia. The current building was designed in 1989 by native Latvian American architect Gunnar Burkets who immigrated to the United States and made his career there and it was constructed in the early 21st century and opened in 2014. Now, I'm not sure if this is a tradition in this restaurant but every table got uh, some walnuts and a walnut cracker and uh, first time being to a restaurant that does that but I guess they're super fresh too. Nice. Mm. Okay guys, so food's here. I've got some chicken with some hummus and really really nice aubergine. Dace got a nice chicken salad and portions are quite generous, especially for the salads. And this fresh, fresh um, 
pretzel with this melted butter. So, so tasty. So we just finished having some late uh, lunch, last say, almost like dinner. It's about 5.30 p.m. now. What we actually found out, the area that we was having our lunch in was actually an area which was um, all based around the medieval times, back in well, 800 years ago, because again, this city is 800 years old. Now we're just gonna head into the famous St. Peter's Church, which is just up there. And apparently we can get a great view if it's open, let's check. The church is open, but the tower is closed, unfortunately. Uh, I'll never take there. No. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a big house. This is a, a the normal, normal, I like that. Ah, yeah. sky, there's no. All right, guys, anticlimax. We wasn't able to get in because one, it's too late. And uh, yeah, that's the only reason. So we're going to probably head over to a quite a cool bar or something. So yeah, have sky a... bar and try to take some panoramic pictures from there. Yeah. Also, I want to get an epic shot for my celebration for the 10k subscribers for you amazing guys that have all subscribed up there. Alright guys, I've been wondering what is the music here in Latvia and we've got our guys there, the two young lads. James <laughs> And guys, what to expect when you come to this square is loads of different restaurants, different bars, places to chill out on. A lot of the drinking culture is big here. So if you wanna you know, grab loads of drinks and do those type of things, that's available. As well as just having a chilled out time, a lunch, a late dinner, that's all here too. And it's about 6 p.m. now, and the area is getting a bit more lively. We have now just come to Radisson Hotel where there is this place, the Skyline Bar. Apparently we're going to get an awesome view from the top. Let's go. Another rooftop now. Terrace. Okay, there it is. Or Dietary Terrace. The Art Terrace. Ah, oh, nice. Proper European vibe up here, guys. Once you finish from having some drinks at the rooftop, it's time to have a break, have some rest, and we'll see you guys tomorrow where we'll show you some more things to do here in Latvia. So good night, see you in about two seconds. All right guys, and once you finish from the city of Riga, head over to the beach side of things where we are now gonna enjoy the seaside. Apparently some nice cool local shops too around here, right? Yeah, it's a very famous Yorma street. Uh, lots of cafes, souvenir shops. It's quite touristy because it's right by the beach. And the name of this area, guys, is called Yurmala. And to actually translate that, it just basically means seaside, but in uh, Latvian. So cool. The little seabirds. <laughs> They're going to poo on you. I know, can you imagine in the shower? So we've got all types of shops here, guys, as you would expect. Being next to the seaside, we've got restaurants, we've got bars, coffee shops. Very chilled out vibe though, very kind of Eastern European, what you would expect in these type of countries, very chilled. Um, so, you know, it's just a Saturday today, so even though it's a Saturday, it's not that busy, but it's a... Uh, We're just a very few. polite people, that's all it is. <laughs> Guys, and a little statistic, if you like, for the people of Latvia. For every two, no, for every one man, is two women. So the population here is predominantly ladies. So we were just walking through the street and I was like, where's some male shops to buy something for myself? And then I realized it's all lady shops here because men here don't really do much street shopping. If they do, they'll just go to the mall and grab something. And also because of the population, it doesn't make sense to have so many men shop around. So it's a little bit of information for you guys. So if you're looking for a wife, come to Latvia. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of women here, guys. And I'm sure they'll uh, be interested. Leave your name in the comments below. Maybe they'll uh, write you a message once watching this video. 
as we finished from the street where all the shops were we've just come outside this orthodox looking church here really really beautifully made it's got these blue bits on the top with some golden bits really really nicely crafted and a lot of the buildings here in latvia are very very unique kind of gives me that kind of disneyland feel really really nice all right so now we're just going to look for the seaside guys get some of the uh, beach weather on us maybe grab some uh, seafood whilst we're there or some local latvian delicacies so we're walking towards the beach now and it looks like we're surrounded by this beautiful looking forest it's all like cut up so well though it's not uh, kind of been kept as it is but they've just kept it very clean you like it it's beautiful is it nice to walk through your hometown nice change after the scorching heat of dubai desert oh, yeah. <laughs> lots of oxygen lot of it yeah, just breathe in guys <sighs> made it to the beach Woo very nice very nice very relaxing open air we've got some super rainy clouds coming in over there it's nice so peaceful here guys very very relaxing so nice you've even got fancy beach clubs here on the beach this one is called salt beach looks really really classy really nice there's a swimming pool just inside as well all right guys we're back inside the town area we're going to see if we can find a nice barbecue type of dish to eat because we've not eaten all day so we are starving at an armenian restaurant and it looks like they've got all types of amazing amazing meats we've got some like lamb chops on the menu we've got some like prawns potatoes kebabs and we are absolutely starving can't wait to get stuck in. We've been walking for like the last hour, so let's get some grub down us. We have just got our mains, we've got some chicken here, she's got some beef right here, we've got some rice, and some garlic sauce. We're just gonna dig in. All right guys, that's the food officially finished. We're now gonna grab some desserts. They've got these famous kind of button looking uh, crepey things here. It looks like that. Bubble waffles. Bubble, bubble waffles, what they're called. And they are being cooked up fresh for us just there. Thank you so much. Mm, look at that. Gonna munch on this one guys, yum yum. Mm, guys, we're just munching this Nutella waffle i think i got all chocolate over my mouth but tastes so good guys fresh marshmallow fresh crepe nutella inside just what you need after a uh, meaty meal Guys, we're now heading into the central market which is actually one of the biggest in eastern europe it's going to have loads of fruit places vegetables and plenty of food spots that you can eat in this area which looks like they're selling all clothes like ladies clothes home clothing basically like a you know like a proper sunday market as you would get over in london or in most cities around the world Uh, we've got a bit of everything here guys, we've got some fresh cherries, tomatoes, so nice, look at these. This is hand-picked, that's why it's so expensive, but it's like proper. You can see these are little mushrooms, but oh, these are sweets. Wow. These are sweets yeah, made with little mushrooms. Them, yeah. So in these markets you've got loads of type of Turkish delights, you've got uh, local sweets that they're selling here, all types of things. I think we're definitely going to put on some weight after being in this market. It's got a very uh, still Soviet Union influence. This is from the old times, you know, the closed and indoor markets with lots of Soviet produce, which is really, really interesting to see. Wow, look at this fresh pastry guys, yum yum. A meat pie. This is like pie with uh, chicken and rice. Chicken and ah, this written in English as well. And then look at these desserts, guys. Wow. Mm. Yum yum. That looks so good. And four euros only, which is not too bad. Oh, look at these, like mince pies. Guys, over in Latvia, they're super super famous about smoking a lot of their meat. And this area that we've walked upon now is literally smoking everything. We've got smoked mackerel. We've even got smoked octopus. Let me show you guys. 
definitely the first time I've seen smoked octopus, guys. I'm not sure what it would taste like. Now just gonna head over to a spot just to have a little bit of brunch kind of like some eggs and avocado toast that type of thing what's it called it's called a place that doesn't need a name the food speaks for itself you okay. see that's gonna be quite hard to find so I'll leave the details of that location below but I'll also show you guys what it's like and if the food is also quite tasty some sourdough bread with some avocado some poached eggs and it looks like we've got a little bit of um, beetroot hummus just swiped around the left and base has got the uh, guacamole with some salmon and some eggs tastes good nice so a little interesting fact guys about the person actually created this restaurant so he wanted a chance to express his artistic self so what he did he created a place that's artistic a little bit funky and classy If you're looking for something hip and cool and funky to do when you come to Latvia, come and check out the Tallinn Quarter. It's full of young people chilling here, people are having drinks, cocktails, um, kind of light bites and also hot meals. It's a must-do place, it's about half an hour walk from the main uh, city itself inside Riga where Old Town is. Alright guys, food has officially arrived and I've got something that almost looks like a chicken Kiev. It's so so tasty, it's got some like cheese on top with all the chicken inside with some potatoes and what are these two? Sort of like croutons, what, what you guys know in um, in the West as croutons but it's essentially um, a very typical Latvian bread smothered in garlic and toasted. Mm. This is definitely my favourite. Blue cheese, mayo, delicious. So as you can see there's a total different vibe here from the actual city itself over in Riga. There's a young generation here. Too young for me. <laughs> That's how you know we're getting old, but it's nice to get out and about and in the trendy areas just so you can have a bit of fun once in a while. Alright guys, and I think this is where I'm going to end the Latvia vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little bit different from my usual vlogs. But I just wanted to show you a little bit of the different side to mine and the missus's life. But guys, I hope you, well, I hope to see you on the next vlog because guys, we've got some incredible adventures lined up. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one guys. Peace out.